My name is Rick Bowling. I was hired originally as an interpretive naturalist and worked in education and then moved in to the aquatics in the herpetology section. I worked 41 years total. Well, as far as my, the earliest, what I can remember, I grew up in Greensboro, so uh, the Science Center was called the Junior Museum, opened in 1957. And so as a kid, I came out to see the snakes. The only animals uh, out here were, were the, the reptile gallery. And so um, they had other galleries with just static exhibits and education department. But so I enjoyed that as a kid. And then, um, and then I, like I say, I started working. I think Lower Zoo was constructed in 72, 73, somewhere around there. And it was all down below where the old barn used to be and they had more of a North and South American zoo with longhorn cattle and bison and goats and sheep, things like that, petting area. So I worked in the zoo for a little while and worked down in that area. And then in 1978, they had a grand opening and moved part of the zoo up behind the building, the existing building. And that was the red barn some people might remember in the petting area and we had goats and sheep up there. But they also had another area that included a black bear, cougar, and uh, foxes, bobcat, things like that. Let's see, the planetarium was constructed in, the, in 75, I believe. Um, and that was uh, one of the first additions, that in the education rooms. Um, you know, onto the old Junior Museum and it became the Natural Science Center then. It was uh, run by City Parks and Rec. Okay, then I saw, let's see, 1990, I guess it started construction in 1987 or 8, was the um, Von der Lippe Hall and the uh, downstairs area, which then had collections, uh, some education, herpetarium, and the labs downstairs. That all opened in 1990, 91. I can't remember the exact day when they built the, the old Garden Club building, which is now offices and auditorium, butterfly section and stuff. Also during that time in the 90s, there was a courtyard in the center of the building where, where I guess you'd call it, it used to be Kids Alley. And it was more of a garden and brickwork in there, like almost like a Charleston courtyard. It was beautiful, a lot of, a lot of tropical plants, but then when it was all changed and, and developed into the, the new kids area that it is now, Cyplay Bay, we opened the Herpetarium, and so it's called the, the Greensboro JC Herpetarium. It was opened in 1993, and so I was over the construction of that, and also planning along with Peggy Farabee, we, we did the collection plan, the original collection plan for that exhibit. Uh, Glenn Dobrigo is our current director. He, uh, he came in 2004 and uh, that's when um, he began his, his uh, master plan and they constructed the zoo in 2006, opened in 2007. Had some involvement, many of us did, in developing the aquarium in 2012. So before that we did meet with uh, the exhibit designers and all and and help uh, with planning of the exhibits there. And when I moved in to just the herps, but the very last exhibit I was involved in was the Komodo dragon exhibit. Um, working with planners for that and actually was able to acquire the first Komodo, which Drogo, which sadly he passed away recently, but uh, that was a pretty highlight, almost like a bucket list in my career. So, I count my blessings for this job. It was something I enjoyed as a hobby as a kid and coming out here uh, to enjoy you know, the facility. And sometimes it doesn't happen with a lot of people. And so I went out on a good note and now I can come visit and volunteer and, and still thrilled to see all the new things that are going on. Being able to have this as a, as a profession and, but also enjoy the fun of it. Um, you know, so again, the biggest highlight is just, uh, you know, that legacy and also getting to know and still be friends with so many people that you, you work with. 
sometimes that doesn't happen a lot in the workplace.